up everyone, it's easy, easy street gaming. Bring you another Brutal Age video. This is uh, a continuation of the last video. It's unlimited partners. It's actually just on one, the, the Fencer Swift. But we also have another look at the Green Ghost, little troll art, troll team. So, why does everyone have Fencer? She, like most of the limiteds, they're gonna, she's gonna do best in a specific army. Or specific uh, team, you, ha you have to be real careful about which teammates you use with uh, Fencer. The, I think red and green are both pretty powerful. I haven't done much with blue yet. Yet I've seen red a lot. I've seen green a lot. So let's go into the the skills. Uh, red Fencer first skill is lunge. Uh, that that's happens all the time. So whenever she is on a CD for any of her other skills, and she can do lunge, and that's uh, attack and recover percentage of, of her action bar. If there's a debuff present, so she will be attacking even faster. Second skill is the Bone Crush. That's a four-round CD, so you do it and then four rounds. Uh, that's when she attacks three times. And the third is guaranteed a critical attack. And there's also a 75% chance to slow the enemy for two rounds. So she speeds her own action bar up. She slows the enemy, and when you're building her, you'll notice that you want you want to have attack. Uh, attack on well there's different ways people are building them I have speed on the left hand some people put attack on the left hand attack on the helmet and then hit on the right hand now if you don't want to put hit a lot of people don't like doing that you can probably put attack on the right hand too and just make sure that you are using either gold or purple war patterns and make sure that you have hit in all the war patterns second and third skill and we'll go into that a little more as, as the video goes on Okay, Fencer's third skill is her. Is, this is the big one. It's called the Agile Agile Counter. It's a passive skill. She has it all the time. Every time she's attacked, there is a chance for her to counter attack. And the way it works is, if before she's before she's third awakened, she has a fifteen percent chance to counter attack every time that she's attacked. And once she's third awakened, and there's a critical attack on her, then that jumps up to forty percent. And that's not just a, uh, uh, a counter attack. It, it takes her damage away down to zero. And then she also counter attacks as well. So that kind of sets the stage for a lot of things. For example, uh, E and War Pattern is probably going to be what you want to choose for. If you get her just right, it's hard It's hard to hit her. Uh, because I don't know everything. <laughs> and I never claim to. I'm still kind of investigating exactly what hit does. As far as in relation to, to Fencer, I know what hit does as far as the debuffs go, but I'm not sure if a higher hit will trigger the, the will trigger her retaliation or if it will just help prevent the other team from resisting it if they have resistance. So I'm checking on that for you. So Third Awakened, she's pretty good Third Awakened. Green's pretty good Third Awakened. Blue, if anyone has blue out there and, and she's the best, then just let me know. I I, I usually judge by watching uh, other players in ranked matches and also watching in the Power Arena. And I haven't seen anything but, but red, I think. And I've seen a bunch of greens. So, if you're following along on the words, going over the Third Awakened, basically it's still 15% counter for all the normal attacks, but then the critical rate attacks jump up to 40%. So Red Fencer definitely six star, third awaken plus if you can. I think you just third awaken them so far. I would definitely suggest that everyone's doing it. <laughs> After I did some extensive studying, I found that the Fencer Swift has some similarities with another partner. So I'm, I, I assume it's the same family tree. That's right, it's red blonde. You can tell by their little uh, the, sk the skull on their on their shoulder. Might be a family heirloom type thing, but now that's not. That's pretty much where the similarities stop, because if you've ever looked at that fencer's feet, it's pretty crazy what's going on down there. I think Big Bird's feet. We had slipped her shoe off, and that's actually what her foot looks like underneath her shoe. So I don't know if that helps with uh, with her battling. I don't know. It's also some other slight differences. That we'll just point out instead of having to go into it. 
Spencer's definitely got the shorter end of the stick on that one. So, one of the best troll armies that I've ever seen. It's an adaptation from from a, a different troll army, uh, which was Cha Cha Flower. This has little green ghost. I've got boars from three twenty three. This is how he how he built his. Now I'm not saying this is how everyone should build theirs. As a matter of fact, he wanted to try to get his a little different than everyone else's. He, he wanted to try to make his as strong as possible, so it wasn't just when the ghost dies that it's effective. It's all the time. So he put attack on his left hand, attack on the right hand, critical rate damage on the head, and you can see his critical rate damage at 163 uh, percent. The health I would avoid putting hit point anywhere up top. If you can because you really want it to go out pretty early in the, in the match that way you can start doing that death damage And I talked all the way through that without mentioning most of the stuff on that page There's just some st different stats for the little green ghost But here it is this is actually chief From server 323 one of the one from the server merge and how do you use these specialized partners and to win at a high level? Well, it's all about making the right team. And this team has two two ghosts, green cha cha, red little flower. Little flower has to be third awakened. You can see one of the one of the little ghosts just died, and he put the four poisons and uh, four clouds over him. So that's the first one. Special thanks to Chief. 323 he gave me a ton of replays you guys are gonna be seeing more replays from him second ghost goes out goes out So now there's two clouds and even more poison Before each round before they can attack They're just gonna get pummeled by there goes Ursa And there no no one else died yet. Oh, there goes uh, There goes a red nomad. I couldn't believe it when I saw this I remember green cha-cha she she'll die and come back to life over and over again as long as uh, her teammates have at least 30% health she'll take 10% of that and now all they had left is the fortune teller pretty amazing tro troll team but I will show you guys the first version of this I believe this is another replay from Chief. And it, it's gonna be again with the green cha cha, but but this time with all the flowers. One blue, one red, two blue. Cha cha dies in the first exchange. And you know, I, I can't tell how much health that she has. She may be level one because I've seen I've seen players only use level one cha cha, they don't upgrade her because they want her her to die right away. Everyone's gonna get stuck on her because she'll have the lowest hit point. And they just constantly hit her and hit her and hit her. Now this can be counterproductive for you if you try this team because that what you're doing is you're taking a single attack and you're making it into a team based attack because it's taking 10% off of everyone. But if you have some powerful partners behind and they have the right skills, every time Cha Cha dies, the flowers are all, uh, it's a 70% chance to poison the enemy. And I think 30% to poison the, their own team. I believe that's how it goes. And I, I had picked green because the green does that one incredible uh, debuff where it does like six or seven debuffs at one time. Pick green to be the strongest. Looks like after third awakening, both blue and red are stronger than green. Very typical. They definitely work well in this in this army right here. If you ever run into three flowers and a cha cha, you better watch out. It's one of those traps because you get stuck on Cha Cha. It's kind of like when you're attacking uh, the the red team and you have Ghost and, and and Nomad. And Nomad dies early, and he retaliates, and you get stuck on him. And all your partners are smashing on Nomad. That doesn't dive, and uh, he counterattacks you every time. All right, we're gonna speed up two times. This is this was kind of a long match. I, I try to record him in, in speed one, and uh, I know you guys don't really want to watch speed one. When you already know what's going to happen. So thanks to Chief. He sent me up a couple losses. 
he did I did do a bunch of partner battles with him and uh, I finally beat him he's got some great partners but I, I couldn't see I only had one troop so I couldn't see what he had um, he put in one friggin partner when I finally beat him and I was all happy till I saw it thanks chief <laughs> All right, we'll close out the video with back-to-back -back matches. This is from 323's Lord and from server 268 from the Toon Clan. This is one of those guys that need no... Okay, I don't even know his name. <laughs> Get a good chance to see the green Swifter. She has a, she has a team attack, unlike Red. And she also has the uh, the, the counter attack. First skill is lunge, just like red. And oh, by the way, the match that we're watching this is for number one in our division. There's a bunch of divisions being 580 servers or something like that. So lunge attacks recovers a percentage of the action bar, and if there's a debuff present. It's the same as red, whatever that was. Now, Fencer with the Agile counter skill, she has a 15% chance to counter on a normal attack, and on Third Awakening, she has a 40% chance to counter on a critical rate attack. So you can increase their odds of, of actually landing the attack by putting hit in every sub skill, or just use hit on the right hand. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to increase the trigger rate of the actual counter attack, which I don't think it does, but it will definitely help with the, the hit versus resistance ratio. Remember, you can actually land the debuff, and if they have high enough resistance, they'll still cancel out the, the counter attack, but if you have high hit, that will cancel out the resistance. The exact numbers, you'll have to look them up yourself, because I couldn't explain it. I could barely understand myself. <laughs> So green has the, has a team attack and then it also has the agile counter which is a passive skill it's always working and something I may not have mentioned seven times yet but it also reduces her damage down to zero and I had a match which I couldn't find it anywhere but I think it was with red fencer swift she was attacked seven or eight times and never they never touched her so after seven or eight attacks and not touching her it showed me that she's got a lot of potential. So I'm using the Ian War Pattern and Lion, Ian and Lion. Um, I believe I'm using her on both green and red. Or actually, I had Smiley on on one, and I'm, I'm switching that over to Ian now. Um, Ian is really effective with the counterattack partners. The better your Swifter gets, the more counterattack she's going to do. So I would suggest Ian, uh, although Smiley on won't hurt. Um, with Ian, I still got her bonus attack up to like 800 so far, and I've only got her to level 12. So she'll be one of those hovering right there around 2,000 for the combined attack. So that's why I'm, I'm thinking Smiley Dawn is not even that necessary, because if you can get the counter attack off with Ian, which is life steal, they I believe he steals some of their I don't know, starting hit point. Oh, that's the end. <laughs> That was Lord and someone I can't read. Great match. Lord takes number one back. Appreciate everyone for watching. Sub to the channel if you haven't subbed already. I appreciate everyone. I really do. Um, so much, so many good tips for me. Uh, so good information. Um, I just love you guys. So, till next time. It's been easy. Take care, everybody.